Today in the world of cannabis, a bill to decriminalize cannabis is introduced in the Louisiana State Legislature. The CEO of Uber says that the company is absolutely looking into delivering cannabis after federal legalization. And advocates draw hope from past comments regarding cannabis policy reform from President Joe Biden's nominee to head of the DEA. It's Wednesday, April 14th, and this is your Tricomes Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricomes.com studios in Southern California. It's time for your morning buzz. We bring you late breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up in a report by KATC. Coming off of New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham signing legislation Monday legalizing recreational cannabis in the state. A measure being proposed in the Louisiana State Legislature aims to decriminalize cannabis statewide. The proposal sponsor, Louisiana Representative Candace N. Noel, says observing other regions of the nation legalized cannabis motivated them to introduce it. Furthermore, seeing the impact of young people of color and feeling that the industry is COVID-proof inspired them to speak out. Under the proposal, people will still be prohibited from growing crops in their homes or selling them on the street. Licensing will be needed for farmers, producers, and sellers. The Louisiana Department of Agriculture would require cultivators to obtain a permit. Despite the fact that expungement is not included in this proposal, they hope that decriminalizing the herb would pave the way for eliminating criminal records for sale or possession. And next up, according to Uber CEO Dara Khosrowshahi, the company will begin delivering cannabis once federal laws permit it. When the road is clear for cannabis, when federal laws come into play, we're absolutely going to take a look at it, Uber CEO said in a tech check interview. For the time being, the company says it will concentrate on its existing distribution services in major categories, namely alcohol and food. Uber's stock rose over 2% this week following the company reporting record average bookings last month. We see so much opportunity out there, and we're going to focus on the opportunity at hand, Khosrow Shahi said. The news follows Uber's announcement earlier this year that it had negotiated a deal to purchase Drizzly, the leading on-demand alcohol retailer in the United States, for $1.1 billion in stock and assets. Wherever you go and whatever you need to get, our goal at Uber is to make people's life a little bit easier. That's why we've been branching into new categories, Khosrow Shahi said at the time of the announcement. Last up, while serving as New Jersey's Attorney General, Ann Milgram, President Joe Biden's choice to head the Drug Enforcement Administration, characterized a 2009 medical cannabis proposal in the state as workable. Despite the fact that Milgram does not seem to have openly stated their personal beliefs on cannabis legalization, the minimal statements made those years ago indicates to some advocates that they are at least open to states enacting their own cannabis laws in spite of federal restrictions. Considering the position that the DEA holds in federal cannabis regulation, advocates say that having a DEA director who is versatile with regard to state-level cannabis measures will be a significant change. Biden named Milgram as their choice for the next DEA administrator this week, and their appointment now goes to the Senate. The nomination comes after the Biden administration made the controversial decision to fire several White House staffers after discovering past cannabis use, and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer saying that a federal cannabis legalization bill is slated to be introduced soon. And that was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry-related podcasts like Hash It Out, Careers in Cannabis, or the International Cannabis Conversation wherever you get your podcasts. For trichomes.com, I'm Devin Leo. And I'm David Fortin. Catch you next time.